Toward the end of the 20th century, there lived a man whom many believed provided answers to humanity's problems. But some people thought otherwise. They viewed him as a threat to law and order, a threat to society itself. His name was Prabhat Ranjan Sarkar, also known as Sri Sri Anandamurti, the embodiment of bliss, or more simply, Baba, Father. I was as a universal family. Each and every entity helps others in maintaining not only the equilibrium but also the equal poise of the entire universe, not only of this small planet Earth. From childhood, I always knew that I wanted to learn meditation. I wanted to practice meditation. I wasn't 100% clear on what it is, but I did know that meditation involves a guru. That's what I was looking for, meditation, perfection, and my link with God. Somebody asked me why I came to Ananda Marga, and I say, I can't tell because it's just like somebody is calling me, you know, so it's, it's like a calling, you know, that I just have to go and do it. I knew from the very beginning that this guru is something special. I met Baba physically, it was 1977. I actually, I didn't know what to ask him because, you know, he's my guru, he's my master and I felt very awed in his presence. And I was happy just, just to be there and to feel the peace. When I was very young, in my young stage, I used to look Baba as an uncle. As time passed, I came to know Baba much more deeply. And then I came to know that he is not my uncle. He is really Baba, supreme power. You see, when I was a student, then I joined Marga and dedicated my life in the year 1957. My first experience is that here is a man, gentleman, guru, who loves us so much. Tears were rolling down from my eyes. So whenever Baba used to say something, do you understand my boy? I said, yes, sir. Then Baba said, I am not sir, I am Baba. This was very pleasant to me. I am not sir, I am a Baba. Baba was born on a full moon day just at sunrise in Jamalpur, India. The year was 1921. From childhood, he was highly charismatic. He attracted all types of followers and friends. And in his personal life, he was very disciplined. Baba's family, they were not only very noble, but very disciplined family. Hmm. Baba was so much disciplined, even in the latter period of his life, when. He became 50 years or 45 years of age. He used to seek permission from his mother when he would go somewhere for even another mark work. From the childhood onwards, he had talked some miraculous stories to their friends and they used to get puzzled. So when he will talk to the friends, he will be just like a friend. Uh -huh. But sometimes to some of his friends, he would show some miracles. They used to go to the polo ground 
and every day they observe that Baba mysteriously disappears. So they wanted, they were curious to know what was actually happening. One day, they did, some two, three of them decided that we will watch, keep a watch on him and look, uh, see, find out where he is disappearing. To. Then uh, that day, as they started playing, suddenly Baba was gone. Then, but they were alert about that. So immediately they started looking for him. He was walking away at a distance toward the Death Valley. So they also followed him at some distance, the three of those boys. They saw him entering Death Valley. Those days, Death Valley was considered to be a very dangerous place. There were wild animals and also there were a lot of stories about ghosts uh, haunting that area. So after uh, about an hour or so, they saw something which was very sh shocking and frightening for them. He was riding on a tiger. He got down and patted the tiger. It went away. They went to Baba's house and they informed Baba's mother about it. Then she was also surprised, hey, what nonsense you are talking, my son riding on a tiger. Then uh, the, the mother called Baba. She said, Boo -boo, what is it? They are telling that you were riding on a tiger. He said, Baba, Ma, do you believe this? <laughs> they, are, they picked up a quarrel with me today and that's why they are making up all these stories. It is certainly a case of miracle. He is really near to the God. He is not near to the God. He is God himself, like Shiva and Krishna. Rumors were already abounding about who he was and what he might do. And there were followers of one religion who had heard that he would put an end to that religion. They were fanatics and they caught Baba when he was moving in an isolated, lonely place. They put a, an old tire around him and set the tire alight. The humanity is now at the threshold of a new era. We don't want any dogma. You slogan should be dogma, no more, dogma, no more. around 